Hey guys, it's time to take a picture and post it on Twitter. One, two, three, smile! Now that the selfie is out of the way, it's time to get into Subnautica Early Access. This is development build 302030 for March 2016, even though we're currently in April. I'm gonna go ahead and start a new game because it's been a long time since I played this game. I have played it on this channel before, but since it's been so long, I never actually continued from where I picked off, left, left off the last time. I'm not going to do it again. I'm just going to start in here straight, new, narrow, and just go in deep, then just figure things out again because it's been a while, like I said. Well, this is new. That would hurt, you know, getting smacked in the face by a big metal sheet of whatever. And now we're on fire. We're on fire. Okay. Get out. Come on, dude. Get the fire extinguisher. Put it out. We are lagging big time. Well, not too bad, but pick up the fire extinguisher. Inventory secure. Extinguish the fire. Uh. Oh, okay. Wrong button. I was using the right click button left click button I'm sh probably should be using the right click I think I remember that for the last time I played actually uh, it's still not out okay now it's out okay can I keep this do I get to keep it uh, apparently not because I got this little holodeck thingy whatever it's called greetings survivor great job not dying to assist you in further survival in emergency situations you have been issued this personal data assistant the interface visible now will organize your inventory, display currently available construction blueprints, and holds other valuable information. Please take a moment to familiarize yourself with it. Okay, I have familiarized myself with it. Now I've got a full fire extinguisher. Initially, the PDF, PDA in emergency mode. Biometrics connected, life pod systems connected. The Aurora mining vessel has suffered catastrophic hull failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected in a 100 meter range. Oh, well, that's a tragedy. Three hours since planet fall? I'm gonna just climb this thing. Who cares? I ain't gonna read it. This has changed a lot. Definitely has changed a lot. And I hope. I'm recording to 60 frames per second, but I don't think I am actually. So it doesn't really matter. Doesn't matter if I am or not, I guess. But let's dive into this deep blue ocean and lag because that's what we do. We lag, even though my computer used to be beastly. Apparently they've changed stuff in this game, which is making me lag a little bit. So it's, it's all fun and games until somebody starts lagging. Let's see if I can remember how to play this though, because I need to build things. I need to get food. I need to get water, fish give food and water some well some do I don't know if all of them actually give you water or not I think it's those what are they called they're not the peepers because the peepers are these little things these are peepers these air sacks those give no those give air or no they don't give air they give water that's right come here air sack gotcha attention detecting increased local radiation levels the trend is consistent with ongoing degradation of the aurora's dark matter drive core yeah yeah the yeah i know during collision continuing to monitor okay so we've got radiation this is a medical kit fabricator i don't need the first aid kit right now but i do want to use you this thing because i want to get some sustenance i want some water so let's make some filtered water out of this air sack and then we can cook some peepers let's cook that peeper then we got that little boomerang yeah boomerang i'm gonna cook the boomerang i'm gonna eat him not right well actually i do need to eat him right now because i've got like 41 percent left on my thingy and i hope my mouse isn't showing up on the screen i have a feeling it might be but hopefully not come here stingray d okay okay that was you that was you making that noise. You guys, you stay away from me because I know you guys have poison butts. You've got poison behinds. I don't actually know what they're called. 
these creatures. But nine seconds of oxygen. Yes, I know. I know. I'm going up. I'm going up. So, anyway. Crap. What is that? Let's go see what this is. I got a feeling it's just coral. It's just Carl. You are Carl, aren't you? Paper? Hello? Anyway. Yeah, you are just coral. But these things are cool because you can actually swim through them and sometimes they oh, I don't know if they've actually got things inside of them. But I know you can use some sorts of coral, some sorts of it, like this coral shell plate and you can make things. I forget what you can make because it's been a while, like I said, since I played this game. Now my biggest issue with sandbox games like this is that I just don't know what to do. I don't know where to begin or anything unless I've watched videos of it or played it a long time and eventually learned the way. What is this? You're new. I have no clue what you are, but you're new. Do you have an eyeball? That is an eyeball. Hello, dude. Hello. Howdy. Okay, you're weird. You kind of like died there for a second. Did you just like play dead? Did you just Emergency. like play dead? Is it getting dark already or is it just me? I don't think it's getting dark yet because I just got here, but it could be. But anyway, the biggest issue I have is that I just don't know what to do. It, I ha it takes some time for me to learn what to do and then I'll eventually get it. Hopefully get it. Holy lag. Quartz? Okay, I've got some quartz. But anyway, yeah. I don't know what to do, basically, is what I'm trying to say. I don't know where to even start, what to do, what to build, anything like that. So if you've got any suggestions on what I could do, go ahead and let me know, because I would like... I would like to know. How did I get hurt? Was this thing hurting me? These guys I know will hurt me. Oh, crap. It's one of these dudes. Those are the savage stalkers, or whatever they're called. I don't know what they're called, actually. But I think... Well, I do know they are bad because I've gotten chased by them before. But anyway, creep vines. If I get a knife, which I don't remember how to build the knife, I can cut these creep vines, which gives me some water and possibly food. I don't know if I can actually eat the creep vines or not. So as nighttime approaches, I am in my life pod and, and I'm going to cook my Gary fish and then probably just make some water out of my air sac because why not? To make a knife, I need titanium and silicone rubber. I don't remember how to get the silicone rubber unless it's already in here. Wait. Oh. Wait. Yeah. Okay. Here it is. Let's see if I have some stuff in here because I've got a nutrient block and flares. I've got flares. I've already got filtered water. What is this? In addition to filtered water, we've also got these power cells, which I can use for other things later on, such as that little thing you can make, whatever it's called. I don't remember the name of anything anymore because it's been so long since I played this and I've I'll say this repeatedly throughout this video. I've not played this in a long time. I repeat myself a lot, if you haven't noticed already. Ah, darkness, my old friend. We've got bats flying around, which probably aren't bats. They're some kind of other alien creature, whatever they want to call them. Maybe wingless, wing, winged turtles. I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. But anyway, we got a moon. We got a bigger moon or planet. I don't know what this is. Sun is rising. Awesome. That means soon I'll be able to go find some magnesium. Possibly some crash powder wherever I can get that from. I don't know. And then I'm on my way to goody goodness. Just keep on collecting these creatures. I wonder, because these guys aren't running away, I wonder if they're sleepy because it was nighttime and that makes it easier to catch them. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just making up theories on the fly. Anyway, what did I need for the knife? I think I needed silicone rubber, didn't I? Because I already had the titanium, so silicone rubber? Where am I going to find silicone rubber, though, unless they're in these little blocks of some sort? I know they're probably not in the limestone, because I don't think you would find silicone in limestone. There's another one of these weirdo creatures. Still don't know what these guys are. Still don't know what their purpose is, but it's like he... Crap. 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 I keep forgetting about oxygen. That's one thing I need to get right off the bat. Another oxygen tank or two. Oh god, I'm not even gonna make it. Come on, dude. You got like 10 meters? Well, that was a load of crap. What all did I lose? I don't know. But that was a load of crap. O2 tank. I need two titanium and one glass. You know what? I've got this titanium, don't I? 
No, I've got one titanium. Crap. Okay. I think I had more than one titanium before. Maybe not. But if I did, I probably lost it because I died. The moral of this is to always pay attention to your oxygen levels because you never know how deep you're going to go and then you won't be able to make it up quickly. Another thing I could do to get up quickly is to make some flippers, which, again, I don't know how. I probably need silicone rubber for that as well. Oh, crap. It's going to explode now. Let's get up here quickly. Quickly, because we don't want to miss this. It is awesome. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, <laughs> it never gets old watching that thing explode. Sorry, Aurora, but you're explode. I guess it's just the wind. I thought something was crashing behind me. Well, anyway, wasn't that just cool? It's really cool. I'm glad that the developers put that in the game because I'm assuming it was in the game before, but I think they might have changed it up a little bit to make it a little bit more awesome than it used to be. But anyway, titanium. That's my biggest goal. Titanium and glass because I need an oxygen tank. I also need silicone rubber for my knife. Salt deposit. Giant cool tubes of doom. Purple fan. Pick the acid mushrooms. Those are used for batteries. Not sure what else. I know they hurt you if you stab it with a knife because I've accidentally stabbed these stupid things with a knife. Which hurts, definitely. Oh, crap. Radiation detected. How, how far did I go? I didn't go that far, did I? Apparently I did. Apparently, I don't know if they increased the range of the radiation or if I just swam farther than I thought because I'm not really that far away from the life pod. And I didn't think the radiation limits were that close to the life pod unless my life pod is just kind of close to the aurora. I don't know. Anyway, I should have more titanium. Okay, I don't. But this metal salvage, I think, can be converted into titanium. That's what it just said. Something about 87% titanium when I hovered over it with my mouse. So, if I can go in here, turn on the fabricator, turn this into a resource, which is a basic material, and turn it into titanium, four titanium. One metal salvage turns into four titanium. Let's go ahead and turn it all into titanium because it's just taking up space anyway in my inventory. So, that's going to give me enough to make, what is it? An oxygen tank. That's what I need. The oxygen tank. It's going to give me enough titanium to make that thing which means I'll be able to swim deeper into the ocean I need glass right glass basic materials glass out of the quartz I don't know why sand doesn't make glass because sand I don't know if quartz is made or if glass is made out of quartz or sand or if quartz is sand or the same thing I don't know what I'm talking about anyway equipment O2 tank one O2 tank does good, but two O2 tanks, that's going to do even better because that's going to boost my oxygen up to 105 seconds. I could, I don't know if I can actually make another one or not because I don't know how deep you can, like, it's gone. I don't even know what I'm talking about. Now that I got 105 seconds of oxygen, I could go deeper into the ocean, look for more sil- I thought I heard one of those stupid things jump out and explode in your face. I don't know what those are called either, but I know they're scary. Very, very scary. And come out when you're least expecting them. But they do give off that sound, such as them opening up their little weasel faces. We probably- There's another one of these creatures. What in the heck? Shoot! Okay. We gotta be careful in here. Just heard another one. Where's that? Okay, forget it. I am just gonna get out of here before I die because I don't want to die again and lose some stuff. I don't know if I'll lose an oxygen tank. I don't know if I'll lose any supplies, but it's better to be safe than sorry. I've got to say, the underwater seascape of Subnautica, it can get pretty beautiful. Look at this. Look at these beautiful vines. Look at these little caverns and everything. That one cavern where the thing exploded in my face, that in my opinion, was considered a beautiful cavern. Scary, but beautiful. 
Okay, this air sac and the other peeper that I caught is probably not going to be enough to keep me alive. But it's going to be enough to at least give me some sustenance in my body, in my belly. That way I don't die right away. So let's eat the cooked peeper, eat the air sac. Gets me up to 30, 80, 63 percent. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and drink the filtered water anyway because now I've got 64 percent water, 63 percent Okay, 62% hunger. And then, I'm just going to exit out of there, go up to the top, and end this video. And if you like this video, slap that like button around a bit with a large trout and share it with your friends because they might like it too. If you want to see more of these videos in the future, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you geese later. Thanks for watching. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Jingle all the way. Oh, what fun it is to ride in a one-horse open sleigh. Hey, 